welcome back to my channel it's your girl Yanni and today we are gonna do my favorites video we're gonna do my current favorite items and beauty so um, if you're interested in seeing what those products or items are then go ahead and grab a snack grab a bottle of water because you know we're still trying to get healthy up in this joint and keep on watching Okay, I know that I usually don't do favorite videos because I really haven't been using all that much makeup in the past like nine months. Quite honestly, I haven't. I mean, I know I've bought, an, I've bought a few new products and things, but they're kind of like the same products and then like different colors and different, you know, I find like, I don't know, same formulas, different colors, whatever. But these are things that I have currently been loving. Um, I am going to be doing a yearly favorites video. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Um, but as of right now, this is my current favorite. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into this video because it's probably going to be a long one. Because it's probably like my favorites over like the last five to six months, let's just say. Because that's basically when I started using a little bit more makeup. Okay. Back. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with the first item, which is not a makeup item, but it is like my newest obsession and like my favorite thing ever. It's this Revlon One Stop Whatever Styler, the brush and whatever this is, this thing, the One Styler Rev Volumizer. You know what I mean you've seen it it's been everywhere I waited so long to get this and I finally got this and I'm like kicking myself for not getting this sooner because this is like amazing like amazing it has a lot of hair in it because I just did my hair plus um, my hair is falling out because um, first off I have um, my dead hair from the blonde that I just did it is definitely falling out and then I also have um, PCOS so my hair naturally falls out anyway and not to mention I'm getting old so <laughs> there's that but I love this thing this is definitely like one of my favorites I cannot wait I cannot put it down like I want to just do my hair every single day the only downside is because like I said I have a bunch of damaged hair and my hair super curly this this barrel is so big that it doesn't get all the way through so I would have to go in with a flat iron but because this is just so burnt i don't want to do anything to it so that's why you see it like a little wavy um it doesn't bo it bothers me but it doesn't bother me enough that i'm gonna go to a flat iron it because if anything i'll just put it back in a ponytail because that's what i'm gonna do but love this thing so very much okay that's the only hair product or hair tool thing anything hair related everything else is makeup related obviously um because that's pretty much my forte so let's go ahead and start this off so in the order of the way that I do my makeup so brows so for brows I actually have three products that I super duper enjoyed um, we're gonna run through this very quick because I don't want this to be a really long video but the this one is new to me but I instantly fell in love with this this is the morphe brow pencil this is the micro brow pencil and I got this in the color Java and I really really enjoy this what I have on my brows right now I like this a lot like a lot a lot a lot like I didn't think I was gonna like it and it's relatively I think it's like five or six dollars I dig this a lot it's creamy it fills in my brows it does what I have what it needs to be done for a pencil like I like this this is not gonna take number one to my ColourPop pencil but this is definitely second it kind of bumped my LA girl um, shady slim pencil down so this one was good next is the essence the eyebrow pencil this is the semi-permanent pencil and I got this in the color dark brown and I love this because this is the one that makes those little hair like strokes and see you guys can see I love this because it's reasonably priced I think I paid like four dollars or five dollars for this and it does the same thing that the brow blade does or the Anastasia Beverly Hills one or the Stila one one of those and it's cheap I dig this a lot because I don't have any hairs up here so I just use it to do the little flicks 
So pleasantly surprised with that. I love that. Then I love this Profusion Good Brow Day Tinted Brow Gel. I was really surprised with this brow gel. Like I didn't think that I was going to like this because Profusion is definitely a hit or miss brand for me um, because the pencil was a no-go for me, but this was a go for me. I enjoy this a lot. I gave the pencil to my son and this I kept for me because I was like, yes, I like that. It makes my brows nice and stiff and look like nice brow hairs. I love it so very much. Dig it best product out there that I think for brow gel aside from like my other ones that I like but that was a pleasantly good new favorite find then for onto the eyes so I have been enjoying the P. Louise base in rumor 02 I really enjoy this base I didn't think I was gonna like it because of all the hype but this is so awesome to put under for any kind of shadow just gives it that nice like vibrant look I have the white one the zero but I gave that to my son because he, he uses a lot more color than what I do but this one is perfect for me and I suggest that if you guys haven't tried the P. Louise base go ahead spend the money buy it go on Morphe's website they carry it on Morphe you can use Afterpay I think and get it that's exactly how I did it and I actually bought a bunch of their other bases that I haven't really tried as of yet but I'm if they're as good as this I'm sold I'm gonna go get all of them that's really really awesome I love that so eyeshadow palettes so because I haven't been buying as much makeup as probably I should there's two palettes that are brand new um, and then one palette that's an oldie but goodie because I did do a couple shop my stash videos and I kind of dipped into old products that I haven't tried for a while and that's made me fall in love with them all over again let's do the new palettes so the new palettes the first one is the Jaclyn Hill volume 2 palette so this palette is beautiful like this speaks to me in every which way possible I love this so much my camera's not doing it any kind of justice I love the purples I love the um, the burgundies right here I'm enjoying the pinks I think this is a perfect palette for anyone who's into color that likes like fall colors this is the best palette to get I like her first one but the first one is more neutral toned this one is just beautiful because you also have neutrals on top so yes next I tried this I haven't bought a BH cosmetics palette in a very long time I think the last palette that I bought was I don't even remember what it was but I got this one because this was intriguing to me I got this around Halloween time this was the drop dead gorgeous full-on crazy palette and this is just so pretty looks like this and these are so pigmented and so pretty like I love all of them I've used the red I've used the blues I've used the purples pinks I use the silver oh, the silver is beautiful I dig this this is a pleasant surprise not that BH cosmetics doesn't have really good shadows they do it's just that I haven't seen them launch anything new in a while and this was like nice this is another BH cosmetics um, palette that I dipped into I bought this a long time ago and this is a very neutral with a bunch of shimmers in it so it looks like this and it comes with a mirror I love that it comes with a mirror I know it's reflective and you can't really see very much but look at how pretty all those shimmers are so this is like highlight side and then this is like that and then it has like the mattes so this is like majority shimmers you've got one two three four five mattes and the rest are shimmers but they're so pretty this is like my favorite for my inner corner oh my god yes you don't even understand this is like life it just brings brightness to anything brow bone inner corner lid halo eye whatever you want to do I love it this palette is just beautiful and I'm so happy that I dipped back into it and found like why I fell in love with it in the first place so that's that then for mascara and eyeliner so for mascara um so two that I've recently tried this I had in my collection for a while but I never tried it this is the mile high club volume and lengthen mascara from wonder beauty I really like this formula this is what I have on my eyelashes right now and it's so pretty it does lengthen and volumize so I really really like that but if you want a 
la uh, a sculpted volume mascara that's reasonably priced this the essence lash princess this was hyped up so much that i was like mm. i finally broke down and i bought it and tried it i liked their volumizer mascara or something like that um i had it for the longest time and i finally dried out and i threw it out so that's why i went ahead and i tried this one and i really do like this one a lot like i love that it has like that curved i'm like a sucker for these curved um wands because i think they just do so well on the eyelashes so these are my two favorites i think they're really good you should try them out you know i'm a drugstore girl like at heart so i would say try the essence one first the wonder beauty one could be pricey you know it is a a, a higher end brand but they're both really really good now for eyeliners these are liquid liners so i got the nyx epic ink liner pen and this is in the color black and i have the brown one and these are like my absolute 100 percent favorite liquid eyeliner pens in the world like you have no idea these are like so easy to use it's what i use to do my eye um my eyeliner today and it's just perfect it has a brush tip it's smooth it doesn't skip it doesn't give me any trouble i love it this is good Second in the running is the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. It's long lasting and waterproof. And this one is um, like it has a little wand and it has a stopper, but it's also a brush tip, which I can appreciate because brush tips for me just work a lot better. I feel like I can control them better and it's super, super black, just like this one. This one's really, really black too. So I love it. Love them so, so much. Then for eye pencils, eyeliner pencils, these are my absolute favorite. I'm not gonna stop loving them. They're my favorite. I love the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. I have every color and I just bought another roll and then I bought the pastels and I bought a whole bunch more. Like these are my absolute favorite eyeliners. They're creamy, they're pigmented. I just love it. I just love it. I love them. You should try them. They're reasonably priced. Get them, they are worth it. They're worth it, I'm telling you, they're worth it. Okay now lashes so i tried some new lashes these are the elf foaming lashes in drama queen and i love these there's another style that i tried which is troublemaker and i love the troublemaker ones but my son took those so i um got these and then i went to go on the website to buy them and they're sold out so that tells you how good they are. I love these. They're so easy to work with. They're nice and voluminous. They're nice and long. They're pretty. They're dramatic. Love them. Then I dipped into my collection and I was like, you know what? Let me try these old ones out that I have. These. These are the ColourPop False Lashes, Falsies, Faux Lashes. And this is in the style Mommy. Oh my gosh. They're so beautiful. I get so many compliments when I wear these lashes. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you. I love ColourPop. They just do it really, really well. And e.l.f. is definitely, these two are my top brands. I love them. I just think that they're amazing. They cannot do no wrong. Um, but yes, they're so good. Definitely try them out. Definitely look into trying their products. They're reasonably priced and they're so good. Now, next. I have to speed this up along because I don't want my light to go off. So for primer, you know my absolute favorite primer is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. The e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. It's um, relatable. It's comparable to the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, and I really, really enjoy this. It doesn't do anything for my pores, but it does prolong prolong my makeup so i really really enjoy this foundation i bought a couple new foundations but i gotta tell you they're like not my favorites and i did dip into my collection like i said the shop shop my stash definitely kind of made me look into the stuff that i really really used to love and now i'm using again so the wet and wild photo focus foundation and this is in cream beige this is my color this just looks so beautiful on my skin and it's like five dollars or six dollars and i dig this so much i was like wow i forgot how good this foundation was i mean if you get past the little paint smell that it has it's amazing like you don't even smell it after a while it's just like whatever this is so beautiful i love it then the next one is the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation this is in the color soft beige this is super beautiful and super full coverage like when i tell you full coverage it's like full coverage i was like wow this is definitely full coverage and then coming in third place is 
the foundation that I actually have on my face right now, which is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. And this looks just so beautiful on my skin. It's what I'm wearing today. And I'm just like, wow, I can't stop looking at my complexion because I'm like, bitch, you look so pretty so glowy so just like healthy healthy skin and that's definitely what this makes me seem like i have even though my skin is like you're dry you're like you need to hydrate so i love the pretty fresh foundation i like the pretty fresh line let's just say but yes this was definitely a, a new coming into my favorites because i just pulled it out a couple of days ago next for concealer so concealer has been like a big deal for me. I've been using a lot of concealer versus using foundation because I wear a mask. So the two concealers that I've been going to, actually three concealers, using are first and foremost was the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is beautiful. I use this on like no makeup makeup days and it just looks, it makes my skin look so flawless and hydrated and beautiful dig this this is in the color medium 105 n and this is my skin tone like exactly my skin tone i could get um maybe two shades lighter to do like a highlight type of concealer like brightening so i might do that but i definitely will be buying this one again then the can't stop won't stop um contour concealer this one is in the color Soft Beige as well, 7.5. And I love this concealer. It's nice, it's creamy, it's full coverage, and it goes really, really well with the foundation. So I've been really using that a lot. And then last but not least, the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. And this one is in the color number 111. And I've been using this. This is super full coverage, and a little bit goes a long way way like when i tell you a long way a long way and this is just beautiful on the skin it just creates like this filter like covers all my darkness covers all my redness covers all my acne or whatever this is beautiful dig this and this is like three or four bucks i think this is like six bucks and then this is like six or seven dollars like yes i know that everything is a majority drugstore but that's what i shop and there's nothing wrong with that because they're amazing now on to setting powders so the two setting powders that I've been using um, have been actually by elf this is the matte setting powder and then this is the halo glow setting powder and I love both of them it just kind of depends on the look that I'm going for and they're both really really flattering on the skin they're really really beautiful I enjoy the finish on both of them this one is not as mattifying like if I'm gonna use this one I use it mostly on the out the outer portion of my face I don't use it under my eyes or like in my t-zone um, I do use the halo glow under my eyes and in my t-zone because that's um, I don't want it to look too drying I want it to look nice and healthy so I'll use that in the in the t-zone and then on this one I use like all around my face there you go or bronzer I haven't got new bronzers that I really, really, truly like, um, like powder-wise. I've kind of gotten some cream bronzers that I enjoy, but these have actually become my favorites again. This one is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzer, and this is in the lighter skin. Obviously, I've hit pan on it, but smells wonderful. Oh my gosh, and this just looks so beautiful on the skin. It just gives me that healthy, bronzy, sun-kissed kind of like glow and I love it I love that I shop my stash and I find like these little gems I'm like oh my gosh yes you know this is why I love this. this is why I love that product this is why I recommend that product this is why I constantly go back to that product um, so yeah that one is a really good one and then I've been using the hula bronzer from benefit and this one I got the mini because I can't afford the full size but this one I really have enjoyed for like doing that sculpted contour look like it's just such the perfect contour color like I cannot I cannot recommend this enough this is the perfect contour color like when I want to look snatched that's what I go for and I think it's just so beautiful it's just nice blendable good formula good color you got it you gotta go for it now for blushes so for blushes I have three different blushes 
So first and foremost, my favorite blush of them all is always these, the Essence. This is the matte one, uh, the matte touch blush. And then this one is the newest one. These are called just the blush from Essence. And these are the two colors that I've been using the most. This one is in Bury Me Up and this is in Befitting. And they're so, so good. They um, leave just beautiful. They're like creamy, doesn't look powdery, they're nice, they're light, they're buildable. It's just really pretty, like really pretty blushes. And they're reasonably priced, like I said. They're economic, they're like three or four bucks. I mean, can't get any better than that. Um, and I love them a lot, I recommend them to everyone. Now, um, this one is an oldie but goodie. The Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. This is in Feisty. I've been using this one a lot. Um, it's just a nice, neutrally peachy, bronzy kind of color. Oh, it just gives you like that natural flush. And it's staying power is beautiful. It's blendable, it's creamy, it's buildable. This is, it's not creamy, I shouldn't say creamy. It's just like, the powder is so fine that it feels like a cream, but it's not. It's a powder, obviously. It's just beautiful. I, I love these. I have a bunch of them, but this is like my go-to color. So, check them out. This is a mini. I know they have full sizes, but I can't afford full sizes, so I buy the minis. I usually buy them in Sephora, or I get them in like gift sets. That's the best way to try them out, and you'll fall in love with them. And they last a long time, so you don't need a lot, so you won't hit pan on these like that. Now, the newest one to my collection are these beautiful things. These are the e.l.f. blush duos. These are a blush and a highlight. I say a blush and a highlight together. They say a blush and a blush topper. To me, it's a highlight. These are so beautiful. These are wonderful. I have three or four of them. I don't even remember. These three are the ones I have. I think I got a new one somewhere. It's over there, but these are beautiful. They are like amazingly beautiful they're like five dollars i think and they are so worth it they're nice and pigmented they're buildable the highlights are hello this is this is beautiful right um the one that i have on right now this one this one is guava this is the newest one to my collection um and this is such a pretty color my favorite one to wear in the fall is this one spiced apple and it's like because it's like a peachy brownie bronzy color <gasps> so pretty and like I said reasonably priced the payoff is beautiful and you got to buy it so you gotta go get it run right now go get it and yes now for lips <laughs> lips let's go for lips so lips for lip balms um, the Milani Fruit Fetish Mango Coconut Lip Balm is probably one of my favorite lip balms. This doesn't do anything for like dryness and stuff like that. It's just a lip balm. Literally, it just sits on your lips and it gives it hydration. It gives it a juiciness. Um, and I love it. I enjoy it. Yes, it does fade pretty quickly. You have to like apply it every like hour or two, especially if your lips are very, very dry. Yes, you'll have to reapply enough but they're so good this smells delicious mm, delicious and then i have the dragon fruit one which is the dragon fruit peach because i have the setting sprays to match i have the setting spray too but yes they're both really 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 good and i enjoy them and i like them a lot for liner the two Lip liners that I've been using the most have been the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF 2. And then the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. And this is in the color Los Angeles. These two have been my go-to lip colors because I've been wearing a lot of nude lips. And if I don't wear nude lips, I'm usually just wearing this lip balm or my Laneige lip balm because, like I said, I wear a mask. So it makes no sense for me to wear lipstick. But when I do wear lipstick, these are my go-tos. And then these are the lip colors that I pair with them. So these three are my favorite right now, lips. This one is the Wet n Wild Matte Lip. And this one is in the color Never Nude, which looks like this. Oh, I love this. 
Love it, love it, love it. And then this one is the NYX Shout Out Satin Lipstick. And this is in the color Silk. Just looks like this. And then this one is the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lip Color. And this is in Cream or Creme. Like this. And this one is really light. So this was like if I want to ombre it. But I just purchased these e.l.f. Seriously Satin lips, and this is the one I have on my lips today. This is in the color Taffy, which is looks like this. They're so pretty, they're so creamy and moisturizing to the lips. I enjoy them a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I dig them very, very much. Lip glosses, I haven't really been using very much lip glosses. I carry the e.l.f. lip gloss the plumping lip gloss and sparkling rose in my um in my purse so that's probably like my go-to lip gloss um i haven't really been using any new lip glosses if i i mean oh well i have been no not really i don't want to say something that i haven't barely been using no not really no lip glosses um per se that i have been using like i said it's usually lip balm because I'm wearing a mask. My lips feel really, really dry. So, you know, it is what it is. And then as far as sponges go, these e.l.f. sponges, um, it came in like a three-pack. These are so bouncy and nice. If you can get your hands on this, I bought it on the website, but I know that they have a bunch of, like, gifts that's going on for the holidays. These are so good. 10 out of 10, I would recommend them. They're bouncy. They are nice on the face. I dig them a lot. Um, and I love e.l.f. Their total face sponge is like one of my favorite. I have a black one and I have a purpley pink one. But that one is like the new, not the new, but I bought it in a gift set. I can't even tell you what it is, but those are really, really good. I've been gravitating toward that. For last but not least, setting sprays. So the two setting sprays that I have been using the most are the Elf Stale Night Microfine Setting Mist. This has up to 16 hour wear. So there's this. And then the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This just smells like amazing. This is like uh, coconut scented and I love it. And I just bought the coconut scented one of this, which I use on my face today. And oh, it's like heaven. I love the scent of coconut. And that's it. That's pretty much it, I believe that's it um as far as brushes um i have really been enjoying my morphe brushes that i've taken out of their box after a billion and one years so i've really been enjoying those if you can get your hands on some morphe brushes definitely look into buying them buy the set i bought like the eye um they're all about eyes it's just eyes and i think it was like 20 eye brushes and I bought it as a set on the website. I think that's really really good And then I've really been enjoying this Moda Pro crease brush. Um, I got this on the clearance section, but Moda brushes are really 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 good I like this a lot and that's it. I believe we're finished that completes this video So this was all the favorites that I have been using probably in the last six months or so um, I know I haven't been doing as much makeup as I you know probably could be but we're in a pandemic and I haven't really been going out like that and I haven't really been wearing a full face of makeup to work um, especially now that I have my crazy schedule happening I'm not really wearing makeup to work maybe just brows and that's it but yeah but that completes this video I hope you guys um, try any of these products out I recommend them they are really really good I don't ever recommend things that I don't try for myself or none of this is sponsored obviously um these are just my favorite go-to products in the last five to six months um because you know it is what it is i enjoy putting on makeup so yeah thanks again for watching i appreciate all of the support please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell down below so you can get notified every time i upload videos which is excuse me which is three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know, if life permits. And yes, I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. I know I said that in my last video um, that I'm going to be doing a giveaway, but um, I am going to be doing a giveaway and just getting everything together because we did hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. I'm so excited. That was my first milestone when I tried this. 
um, out a uh, hundred years ago, um, like four years ago almost, January 6th of 2021 will be four years that I'm on YouTube and I finally met my first goal. The next goal is to get to um, 500, so hopefully I can get there and then yes, little by little, consistency is key and I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. I love, you know, sharing with you guys. I love talking to you guys i love giving you guys recommendations i love engaging with you guys it's just it's my happy place so yeah thanks again and i will see all you beauties in my next video bye it's what i have on my my, my it's what i have on my eyebrows right on my eyelashes Whew. my favorite my